Multicultural Spotlight, presented by Chevrolet. Find new roads. Tomorrow, it will be one year since the first Afghan refugees arrived in Indiana, taking up residence at Camp Atterbury. And since then, one man has picked up his passion for art. He tells News Aid's multicultural reporter, Dear Winfrey, his art gives him the freedom to not only tell a story, but raise awareness. Kahar Bazaar taught himself how to paint as a child. It's a skill he used to support himself and his family back home in Afghanistan. But in August of last year, his life got turned upside down and that art took a back seat. But now with support from Big Car Collaborative, he's showcasing his work here at the Guy Clark Gallery. There's a piece standing in this room full of art, a stark contrast to the fear that gripped Kahara Pazad just one year ago. I couldn't get out of uh, my home for like a week or two. I was so scared. He's from Afghanistan, and when the Taliban took over in August last year, his chances of staying there being safe were highly unlikely. So he took the chance, leaving behind his country, a place rich with culture and history. I recreated uh, because the history, once again, is repeated. He'd been an artist, working with the U.S. military, creating commissioned work, and teaching soldiers art. One day before the explosion outside Kabul's airport, he got out. I was happy to leave my country, but at the same time, it was very difficult to leave everything behind, my family, my friends, uh, my home. His first stop in Indiana, Camp Atterbury. Instead of sitting back, he got to work helping translate. While it fulfilled a passion to serve, his creative passions took a back seat. But now that things are somewhat normal, he's again picked up his brush. She's wearing, it's a cage for her. It's, she's inside a cage, she doesn't have her freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of uh, sharing her thoughts. His stay at the Guy Clark Gallery is wrapping up. Inside, he's showcasing pieces he created in Afghanistan, a few from his younger sister still in Afghanistan, and new pieces. Through my artwork, I want to show what's happening there, or uh, I want to share to the world that Afghanistan is not just what you see or what you hear from uh, this small touristic group. The art has been up all August, but it will close out at the end of the week for first Fridays, but it will still be available for sale. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.